guys, sorry it's been a while, but welcome to my 29 week pregnancy update. Things have just been pretty crazy with moving, but I'm sitting down now and filming. So let's get into it. This week, baby is the size of a Barbie convertible. Hi, I'm tour guide Barbie. So that's about two and a half to three pounds, but probably at least three pounds at this point, and a little over 15 inches long. So Lincoln was 21 and a half ish inches when he was born, so I would expect this baby to have about six more inches to grow before he's born. And this week, baby actually looks like a newborn baby. Like if they were born now, their health would be a concern, but uh, they would pretty much look like a newborn baby looks. So that's exciting. His bones are hardening, which means I need to be having more calcium because more calcium is getting deposited into his bones these next few weeks. This baby, I'm telling you, is so active. He kicks all the time, so much, so strong, so often. When I do kick counts, I haven't been super consistent about them or anything, but um, when I do them, I usually get my 10 counts in like one minute. So <laughs> he's in good shape as far as activity goes. He is starting to get into my ribs on occasion and it is hard to breathe, but I feel like really I'm carrying super low this time compared to last time, which makes sense if it's your second baby. Um, so we'll look at that more at the end when we look at my bump. As far as I go, there have been quite a few different symptoms. I talked last time about having difficulty breathing and that's definitely still a thing. <laughs> if I go up the stairs, I'm pretty out of breath <laughs> and that is partly the altitude as well. But I played flute for a bell choir concert this week and having enough breath to play flute at this altitude while I'm this pregnant is pretty interesting. <laughs> I still did it and it sounded great, but it I had to think much more consciously about where I was going to breathe and to take good deep breaths. I haven't really had any of like the restless leg syndrome stuff that I had last time, but I have had foot cramps and one just horrible calf cramp. So trying to stay hydrated will hopefully help and I am trying to be good about drinking plenty of water but the foot cramps have been starting to be a problem for sure, which is common late in pregnancy. I have lots and lots of Braxton Hicks contractions. I feel them at least a few times a day and it seems like they'll come kind of in waves of like several that I'll notice in, the, in an hour or so and then I won't notice any after that. You're supposed to contact your doctor if you have more than four in an hour. I'm pretty sure I've noticed more than four in an hour, but it's never been concerning to me because they're not painful or anything and it's never led to any painful contractions, so I'm not worried about it. The stretch marks that I have from Lincoln are becoming more visible, but I don't think I have any new ones. It's just that the old ones are like getting, not, not necessarily stretched again, they're kind of reddish again and just a lot more visible than they have been before I was pregnant. So that's interesting, but no new stretch marks that I know of. I have so many, it would be hard to notice if one of them was new, but I think the color of it would be different if it was a new one. So I think I would be able to notice. Also, I really can't lay on my back long enough to do my physical therapy. I have some hip stretches that I'm supposed to do while I lay on my back. And just the pressure of my uterus and the baby pushing on my spine is really uncomfortable if I lay on my back for too long. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I can't lay on my back long enough to really effectively stretch my hips, which is kind of a bummer. I'm trying to replace some of that with sitting up stretches, but I like to do them in bed, like right before I go to sleep. So I have to kind of change my habits. One of the reasons that I waited to do this update is because I was waiting until after I got to do my hospital tour and after I got to have my midwife appointment. And I had both of those, yay! So the hospital I'm delivering at is lovely. I'm so excited. It's really new, just built in the last few years. The biggest reason I picked this hospital is because you get to stay in the same room for labor, delivery, recovery, postpartum, all the things are in one room. And I love that because at the hospital we were at with Lincoln, the labor room was really nice and spacious, but then 
the recovery room was like so tiny and depressing. And I think that's one of the reasons we left the hospital early, early meaning Lincoln was just a day old when we left. I think the recovery room is one of the reasons we left the hospital so early. I was also pretty determined to leave as soon as I could going into it, but we left at like 10 at night. And if Matt had just had a better bed to sleep on there, we might have stayed that second night. And I think that would have been better for us, especially as far as my pain medications go. You can hear more about that on Lincoln's birth story. So I'm really excited to be able to stay in the one spacious, nice room. And there is a bathtub. There's a removable shower head that you can spray on your back that really helps some moms. So we'll see what I actually end up wanting to do. I just hope I don't have to get induced and then I can actually use the shower and the tub. <laughs> My midwife appointment was just today and it went really well. So with Lincoln, I was planning a home birth, but I had a midwife that I had been seeing in case I did have to go to the hospital. And so even if I was at the hospital, I was gonna be able to see her. And then at 41 weeks, we had an ultrasound that said it was too big, so I could not be with that midwife. But today they said that even if he was big, in all likelihood, I could still be with one of the midwives at, these pra at this practice, but you don't get to s like pick a specific one that you want to be with. It is just whoever's on call, but I still am more excited about that since it's midwives instead of OBs. I'm trying to stay low intervention this time. It took me to a while to decide what kind of birth I wanted to go for this time, and I know that plans can change and who knows? <laughs> like, I could go into preterm labor and everything could be super complicated. I could need to be induced again and have all these interventions done, but I still want to go for the kind of birth I wanted to go for with Lincoln, I, I believe. So we're going to try for as low intervention as possible and be flexible and see how it goes. One of the things I am nervous about with this pregnancy is Kind of what I just touched on as far as last time my 41 week ultrasound said Lincoln was 11 pounds so then they diagnosed him with macrosomia and I could not be with a midwife anymore I had to be with an OB and I'm worried about that this time because I'm supposed to have an ultrasound at 34 weeks and I was wondering if that ultrasound said that the baby was like already measuring way ahead of schedule what that would mean for my ability to be with a midwife. So they actually, since I was worried about it, they moved that ultrasound up to 32 weeks. So at my next appointment, I'll have another ultrasound. So hopefully that'll give me a little bit more leeway as far as if he's gonna grow a lot in the end of this pregnancy, hopefully we'll catch it on the earlier side and he won't be as much bigger than normal. And just to know further ahead of time is kind of nice as well. So. My next appointment, I'll have an ultrasound and we'll double check that it's a boy. <laughs> Pretty sure it is, but worth double checking. Okay, so that's all for me. Let's take a look at the bump. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell how low, I, how low I'm carrying, but my ribs end like here-ish and my uterus starts like here. And my fundal height was measuring totally normal, but just compared to how I was with Lincoln, I feel like it looks so much lower. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm trying to be busting these out every two weeks till the end of this pregnancy, but it is a little crazy with the holidays and moving and just being a big, tired, pregnant lady. So thank you for your patience and I'll see you next time. Bye.